Wiles in trouble. He's trying to escape. Gets to the sideline. Launches it over the middle of the field. Incomplete. Nobody home. To receive. He is waiting at the 43. Lofton, a high spiraling punt. Coleman, fair catches it. Florida State struck early. Southern miss their second drive here. Billy Wiles, their quarterback, finds Jacarius Kasten for a nice pickup there. Going down the sidelines, picks up the first down and out of bounds after a 10-yard gain there. If you're Billy Wiles, you know that Florida State is going to play some kind of man-to-man. -man. I love how he was able to throw into the blitz right there and get Kasten out there to go those yards after the catch. We welcome you to ACC Network Primetime Football. Those of you watching UNC win in double overtime against App State. We've got Southern Miss here trailing 7 nothing against the home team Florida State. Billy Wiles in trouble, throws off his back foot. Dangerous pass incomplete, but a flag on the play. In the backfield for Southern Miss. Wiles under pressure, throws over the middle. It is caught and complete there. Taekwon Henderson. Just watching the defense in one of the rare occasions where Florida State plays cover two, and he's able to get it right over the linebacker's deck. Wiles hands it off. Shovel pass to Mims. Can he turn the corner? He cannot. Travis. Setting up the screen to Toa Feely, makes a man miss, sports past midfield, but shy of the first down marker after a two-yard game. Last week at LSU, or against LSU at the Camping World Stadium in Orlando. Travis, low snap, got plenty of time. He's dancing in the backfield, now he's flushed out. Going backwards, finds a man, it's Toa Feely. Toa Feely got, has plenty of room to run and he picks up the first down as he crosses the 40 yard line, a nine yard game. Good job right here, buying time. Got to also shout out the offensive line for not going downfield, specifically Demetri Emanuel when Jordan Travis does let it rip to Toa Feely to pick up that last block and get that explosive play. Southern Miss showing blitz, here they come. Good pickup. Travis going down the field, he's got a man, it's too spin, and he cannot hold on. It's clock, most likely man right now. Clock running out, they get it off in time. Travis flushed out of the pocket. He's so dangerous when he runs, and you see why here. Travis is going to keep it and slides after he picks up the first down. A 12-yard gain, but about 70 yards being ran on this play. Jordan Travis does a great job of keeping his eyes down the field the whole entire time, but the offensive line does a great, even better job of staying alive. Keeps it. Pushes forward. Does he have enough? It looks like he may be shy of the first down, but the way Florida State is going for it on fourth down, it's not going to matter. They're clearly going to go for it here, I would presume. Southern Miss showing blitz. They hand it off up the middle, right up the gut. Benson into the end zone for the touchdown. Skipper for Trey Benson and the Knowles are cooking right there you see the experience drive but the touchdown run you see that offensive line part the seas I'm telling you George me and you could have got through that hole right there <laughs> I don't know about me you it, maybe you it, slimmed down as an offensive lineman you're down like 100 pounds Tapped off by that 19 yard run by Benson five minutes and 23 seconds off the clock the extra point by Fitzgerald is up and good Waiting at his goal line for Southern Miss. Rodri Clark back there as well. Oh, and we have an onside kick. Can Florida State recover? You know, just with the surprise onside kick. Wait, it looks like Shaheen Brown recovered the ball, although the referee pointed the other direction. He pointed Southern Miss. So what are they doing here? Lots of, lots of miscommunications right now. The official absolutely pointed towards Southern Miss, but FSU is going to have the ball. There you have it. Yeah. Travis with time, launches one down the sideline for Wilson. He comes up with the grab and a flag on the play. Down near the 25-yard line for Wilson. Robert Scott Jr. and Maurice Smith are out. Darius Washington and Bless Harris are in. Travis over the middle. He's got it. No, Wilson drops it. Travis, low snap, picks it up off the ground. 
Got time. Throws it into the end zone. Incomplete as Keon Coleman tried to climb the ladder and couldn't haul it in. Back to action. Thank you, Maryland, with Coach Hall. Wiles throws one. Incomplete. Play action for Wiles. Got time. Goes to the sideline. He's got a man. It's caught there. He hurdles a defender. It's Ty Mims with a big pickup there as he gets into Florida State territory. Oh, moving the pocket to the right to capture some of those defenders' eyes. And you're able to see Ty Mims get lost behind the DBs for their explosive play. And it looks like Akeem Dent went down with a hamstring. Wiles takes the snap. Hands it off to Gore. Gore gets loose. Gets the first down, going down the sideline and knocked out of bounds near the 10-yard line. A 16-yard gain for Gore. Wiles, under pressure. He's got a man. No, incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Avery White. Tried to stretch out for it and could not haul it in. A 30-yard attempt for Stein. He had a 52-yarder last week, and he kicks it up and good. And Southern Miss gets on the board here for the first time. Stein boots it. And Florida State will receive. Houston Wright makes a man miss. Another man miss. Stays on his feet. Heading towards the sideline and out of bounds at the 31-yard line. A 31-yard return. But pressing it. Going straight ahead and allowing that, deep, that special teams to collapse. And now being able to bounce it outside using his speed and showing that he has explosive playmaker ability with that little shimmy sidestep as well. Little hezzy. Does have four rushes for 14 yards as well. Travis takes the snap, pressure coming, steps up in the pocket, throws over the middle, and it is caught by Darion Williamson. A 12-yard gain there. Already has a touchdown and another catch to add to his tally. I love Coach Atkins' call right there because you go five wide, the defense has to declare their self. Are you in man or are you in zone? And Jordan Travis continues to make the right decision as far as where he goes with the football. Florida State now two of seven on third downs. Travis on first down. On the RPO gives it to Benson. No, Toafili actually. Toafili makes a man miss. Heading down the sidelines. Cuts back inside. It's a foot race and he's taken down at the 20 yard line. The big boys out in front. Just continue to get it done. Tor Philly makes a heck of a move, but look at big Jeremiah Byers. 63. Wait. Look for Florida State to take advantage of the matchup up there within Keon Coleman at some point. One on one. Span on the jet sweep. He's got room to run. He's got the first down, and he's tackled near the five yard line, taken down at the six. Here, Deuce Span does a great job taking the handoff, but getting up field as fast as possible. Using his wide receivers and everybody. Quez McNeil with the tackle. Quick play here to Campbell up the middle, but flags are on the play as he's trying to push the pile. In motion. Handed off up the middle to Benson for the touchdown. He walks into the end zone. A three yard run. And the Knowles put up another TD. A seven play drive. His way through. Showing off his muscles. Gotta love the. It's off the clock. Fitzgerald for the extra point is up and good. And the Knowles have regained control of this game. Thanks, Kelsey. We got a good one here. Florida State put up another touchdown. Trey Benson capped it off with a three yard score. They kick it off here to Southern Miss. And Antavius Willis with a nice return there. Out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Wiles, low snap, under pressure, and he is wrapped up and sacked for a loss there on the play. Je Dennis Briggs Jr. Florida State senses it as they crowd the line of scrimmage. They hand it off on a draw play to Gore. Nothing doing there. A gaggle of defenders take down Frank Gore for Florida State. Bryce Lofton fields it at his nine to punt it to Keon Coleman, awaiting for it, back pedals to the 30, takes it, makes a man miss, cuts inside and taken down near the 35-yard line. This is his offense. It's designed for him. Travis with the keeper, tries to cut back inside and wisely with Travis. 
A quick toss to the boundary to Keon Coleman. Another flag on the play. Hurdles a defender. Keon Coleman picks up the first down. A bit more easier right there. Travis on third and long. Got time. Flings one. Caught by Coleman. His second catch. Down the sideline as he avoids a tackle. Hurdles a defender. And taken down inside the five. A 34-yard game. Reliable he is. Jordan Travis will throw the ball short of the sticks. Don't worry, I'll break the tackle and I'll go over one of the better players in Stanley for this defense and now get this crowd fired up. Six more here before the half. Travis over the middle. Touchdown! Touchdown, Travis DeColman. His fourth touchdown of the season. A nice inside release by Keon Coleman. Inside release on the touchdown, goes up and gets it. Great field, both feet in bounds. The kick is up and right between the pipes. Florida State is asserting their dominance. Called them a playmaker and you see that there for sure. Coach Alex Atkins told us that when he got there, he said he could help Johnny Wilson with his routes. Wiles, incomplete, tries to go to the sideline there. Struggling outside of one drive, and they were aided by Florida State penalties. Here's the punt. Coleman to field it at his 47, and he is tripped up. Travis, rolling out of the pocket. He's going to keep it himself and taken down near midfield. Showing blitz. And here they come. Travis quickly over the middle. It's caught. Hakeem Williams with an eight-yard gain. They continue to just sit back there and, and get pre-snap readings and let Jordan Travis do whatever he would like to with this offense. Florida State. And here we got another completion to Morlock, and he's upended by Jay Stanley near the 10-yard line. A 28-yard gain. Kyle Morlock saving him on one end. Here they are. Coleman in motion. Travis backpedaling. Dumps it off to Toa Feely, and he is taken down from behind. There's the snap. The kick is up, and it is good. Right down the middle right there. Ten plays, 39 yards on the drive, capped off by that 35-yard field goal. Wiles takes the snap, throws it over the middle. It is incomplete. Jacarius Caston could not hold on. To arriving to Florida State, a toss to Benson. Benson with a hole. Still on his feet, cutting back inside. Headed towards the sideline, breaking for the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Trey Benson! A 42-yard run. Florida State putting it on Southern Miss. Looking at Trey Benson right here. He sets up his block. He's able to put his feet on the ground and just use his speed. But look at these FSU receivers down the field blocking their butts off to get in the end zone. Great job. Great offensive play. Fitzgerald, low snap. They pick it up, and he boots it through. And the Knowles have a 35-point lead. Go out there and play every position and on the back end in the secondary. Third and eight, Wiles intercepted! A pick six, Jarian Jones! Jarian Jones with the touchdown, a 27-yard return. And Billy Wiles' nightmare night continues. Anticipated. He sees it the whole entire time, jumps in front of the receiver, and is able to use all of his speed to get to the end zone. This defense has been on their heels and been playing comfortable the whole entire night as they've been able to get after the quarterback on the other side. Became the example as well. And now they're one of the elite programs in the country. Gore up the middle there for four. Has a first down. Two for seven on third downs. Wiles got time. Floats one up for Gore and over his head. And Gore frustrated at that because he put way too much air under that. Talking to his teammates and his coaches. The execution not what they expected tonight. 
A wobbly punt fielded by Coleman at the 40. Gets into Southern Miss territory. Breaks a tackle and tackled near the 40-yard line. Yeah, we have a change of quarterback right now with T Tate Roadmaker at quarterback. So it looks like Jordan Travis's night is over. And understandably so. And he finds his big tight end there. Marston Douglas rumbling down the sidelines for a touchdown. Marston Douglas. 42 yards. The big fella. Get to celebrate the red shirt junior out of Brownsville, Tennessee. Haywood High School, stand up. Great job of calming down all of their quarterbacks. Roadmaker gets back there, is able to look off the defense, find Douglas in the flat, and just everybody just working their butt off to get in front of him, to escort him to the end zone right there. This team is explosive. It doesn't matter who you put in. They are deep at every position. We've seen big plays out of Jaheim Bell, Kyle, Kyle Morlock, and now Marquiston Douglas out there. And as you can see, how about this stat line? If you're Tate Roadmaker, right? Yeah. One, One pass, pass, 42 one yards, touchdown. touchdown. And the accuracy tonight for Wiles has not been there. Rodrigue Clark. You look at how deep they are at every position, but also you look at just, you know, the physicality that they bring. You know, they don't wait for you to attack them when they're on defense. Yeah, as long as they can stay healthy, they're going to be in that mix in that conference, the fun belt, as I like to call it. Handoff to Dreet Clark down the sidelines, picks up a first down, a gain of 12 on the play. <laughs> yeah, it has. Uh, during the break, it was all up and down the stands over there, so they, they're having fun. Well, it was a good timeout, right? If you were able to convert, you're trying to get these small victories here if you're Southern Miss. Wiles on the run, dumps it off there. He's got a man down the sidelines, tripped up. It's Chandler Pittman for a 14-yard gain. He'll pick up another first. This down. is an opportunity for these guys to get reps, to your point. And that's how good they are. Dump off pass there. Second and ten. They hand off to Dreek Clark, who gets in the end zone for a touchdown. A 12-yard scamper. And Southern Miss with something positive on the night. Yeah, a great call by Coach Wilhawk on this. I mean, Dreek Clark's been having success of running off tackle to the left a bunch tonight. And now I flip the play and now allow him to go to that right side and test it out. And he's able to find the end zone for the first time for the Golden Eagles offense. 13 plays, 89 yards on that drive, capped off by the 12-yard run there by Dreet Clark. Five minutes and 41 seconds off the clock. The extra point by Stein is up and good. Tate Rodemaker, the twos. Rodney Hill, one of the backup running backs. Got a hole, makes a man miss. Nifty move there on the Hezzy, and then gets wrapped up just beyond the 35-yard line, an 18-yard run there. Rodney Hill does a great job countering, but allowing the play to develop in front of him and making a man miss in the open field. This young man is going to be extremely exciting for through a wall for this coach. Right. I was so excited in our coaches' meetings with him. And, and Florida State staff is excellent, as you mentioned there. And here's Campbell with a nice run to midfield. Picks up the first down after a seven-yard gain. Uh, but Steve Sarkeesian gets the win. Texas, are you buying the hype? I'm not ready to buy the hype yet. And that's because Steve Sarkeesian is playing against his former head coach. There's always a little bit extra. Another handoff. Keziah Holmes with a spin move there. He hit him with the B button there, Orlando. Guard, but also having the tight end come out there and kick out as well. Puts his foot in the, in the ground and is able to get north and south and go pick up the first down. 13-yard gain there. I may be a little old school when I we had kind of turned a corner and then they kind of righted the ship a bit there after that. Yeah, just seeing his team and how they responded in the second half was super impressive for Coach Norville. And you see there a touchdown again for Florida State. Arian Gregory. Our drive capped off with a 13 yard catch to Jacobs. Five minutes, 27 seconds off the clock and Florida State continues to pour it on. Big time action, you know, night game, Dope Campbell Stadium, lots of fans in the building. Confident in the depth. By the way, thank you to Nando at Nando9410 who sent me the pronunciation phonetically of Andravius. And there's Antavius Willis 
Staying on his feet, getting past the 35-yard line with Wiles. Clark again, bouncing it to the outside. Can he turn the corner? He does. He slips past the defender and gets tackled just past the 40-yard line, 11-yard gain there. Wiles launches it incomplete. We're getting deeper and deeper down the depth chart here as C.J. Campbell is in the backfield. Quarterback change here. And you see the quarterback on the run. Headed down the sidelines and pushed out of bounds. Jeremiah Robinson pushes him out of bounds. And it's Brock Glenn who's in there after a 34-yard gain. Brock Glenn does a great job of transferring his way to get enough field. But Hakeem Williams with the block of the night just pancakes the DB on the exterior to have a, even 20 more yards on that explosive run. Glenn keeps it on this one, and he gets swallowed up in the backfield. Harry and Gregory on the tackle. And help out his teammates. Vandravius Jacobs got that second touchdown, and here's a run here. Holmes! Foot race! Touchdown! Four! Florida State, doesn't matter who's out there. Keziah Holmes, just one minute, off, 17 seconds off the clock. Just off tackle and just shows his speed to get to the end zone right there. Fitzgerald for the extra point. Up and good. 66 points for Florida State. Clemson with the bounce back and they needed that in a big way because Duke upset them week one. A two-yard loss on that one. They were up 35-0 against Stanford, who will be an ACC member next season. And Caleb trying to go back-to-back -back Heismans. He had two touchdowns. Pitch and catch there to Antavius Willis. Whole world's watching takes down big bad Clemson, so both of these quarterbacks, in my opinion, George, could play their way into the first round. Once you get into the first round, then it's all about your interviews and, and you know, we'll meeting with these coaching staff. When Kirkland got hurt, you saw Coach Norvell go out there on the field and check up on that young man. You know, that shows the character of this coaching staff and how much they care about these young men. North Carolina beat South Carolina. Florida State beat LSU, obviously. Wiles goes down the field, and it is incomplete. Almost picked off there. Here's the attempt. It is up and good. Southern Miss puts up three more. Trey Benson, as you mentioned, 6'1", 221. That's a strong young man. Here's Campbell on the move. As he picks up enough for a first down. He's checking in at running back now for Florida State. Duffy pulls there and gets wrapped up. You and I and Marilyn will be in Miami on Thursday night for Miami and Bethune Cookman. And they put up, I believe, 70 last year against Bethune. Marilyn and I were at that game. Yeah, I believe it was really about Florida State today. They came out here. It wasn't about making a statement or anything like that. They came in and did what they did. Uh, offensively, a lot cleaner of a night blocking on the perimeter. Uh, you know, they got to get better with their drops. And defensively, the communication was better tonight than it was a week ago against LSU and less missed tackles. So if you're Coach Norvell and this whole entire FSU staff, you've got to feel good about the performance that your team was able to go out there and have tonight. And there's the two coaches who have a long-standing relationship.